Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Uh, let me share my screen real quick. Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about a few things related to dashboards and master details. So let me show you what I have prepared for you in this webinar and we'll go through the code. So all these uh, features that we have added in this uh, project, we have, uh, we've been working with uh, one of our customers and the kind of application they're building, it requires some specific features on how master and details interact. And one of them is this kind of specific view where master is on the top and details is at the bottom right and uh, by clicking on uh, master table record we see details record at the bottom and uh, it was also uh, we implemented this using a dashboard right it's uh, pretty straightforward but what they needed also, uh, they needed a splitter, which is not commonly used in uh, web applications, but was very popular back in the 90s in desktop application. So, but definitely there are some applications that can uh, uh, benefit from this kind of feature. So we have implemented it. And again, it was surprisingly easy to implement. So I will show you that. Take a look at what happens when I scroll down using my mouse wheel. Uh, the header is not going anywhere. And stays at the top. So that's a fixed header, right? And this is pretty convenient as well. So if your application has a bunch of columns with uh, numbers, it makes sense. It would make sense that you always can see those uh, headers. And uh, we do have this kind of feature in uh, for regular grids, for regular list pages. But in the dashboards are uh, different, so we had to add some CSS code that adds this kind of feature for the dashboard as well. And again, it was fairly easy to implement. And one other thing I wanted to show is uh, also, also the same kind of application. So that's a uh, regular master details. And when I expand the details, you can see that we have uh, two details tables here, customers and order details. And customers is a, a table with a large number of fields. And by default, it would make the, the whole table expand to accommodate the whole thing. So it was not desirable for this kind of application and customer wanted to keep uh, master table structure the same way it was before. So we implemented the code that keeps uh, details table from expanding to the right and added the horizontal scroll. Okay, I hope it makes sense. Let me show you how it was implemented, okay. So for this kind, of, let's start with the splitting. Uh, for this kind of functionality, we use uh, JQ widgets. It's a set of uh, jQuery UI widgets, and we using the one that provides us with it. So this is a link. I will post it to webinar description if you need to read the documentation. And it has the whole lot of uh, possible options here. It's, uh, there are two splitters, right? So there's a left column and right column. And then inside of that, there is another splitter. 
have it at the whole source. You don't need that. Uh, let, let me just show you a, a reference. No, it's, that's a lot. Uh, it's just a lot. I, I'm just showing you. So if you need to uh, do something that is uh, slightly more Okay, horizontal split, uh, just a very simple view source. And so basically, basically just one line of the code that does it. But again, let me show it to you how it's done in our application. So we need to copy four files. Uh, yeah, these are files. We copy them to the source folder inside our project two CSS files, two JavaScript files. And they will come with the sample project I will upload to Dev Club. And so once we copy those to the source folder, we need to make sure we include in those files. So we go to our dashboard uh, before display event and we add the following code, right? right here and uh, it had CSS files and JavaScript files. Nothing is in, nothing is interesting about this. And in JavaScript code, this is slightly more interesting, but also very, very simple. Okay, uh, we perform some uh, panel height calculations here. Right? uh based on uh, what our window size is and then we apply uh this uh J jqx splitter code to table body tag so uh the thing is by default this splitter uh takes as an argument or needs to be applied to something that, uh, to any sort of a container that has two elements. So it knows what it's working on. So in, inside our rfluid T body uh, tag, there will be two table rows. So let's take, we can take a look at the HTML. At, uh, Everything else is just some settings. So we need to calculate uh, the height of our container uh, with and uh, uh, orientation of the splitter is horizontal, which is very logical because we have two table rows, but we can experiment and we create another dashboard and create a vertical splitter if we want to. And we define the panels. Uh, there are some parameters which one is collapsible, which one is not. So uh, that's uh, interesting. That's something that is interesting uh, functionality that I didn't show you yet. Let's uh, see here. You see uh, in the middle of the split, there is a blue handler. Uh, and if I click on it, it will collapse and show the top panel full size. And yeah, so it can be pretty handy. If you need to see deals at all times and you don't want don't want to uh, jump or to expand details, so it can be something that you may want to have in your application. So, so this is basically the code. If you need to implement uh, this kind of horizontal splitter between two panels, one on the top of another, you create a dashboard. Uh, in your dashboard, you place two elements, orders as a grid, and the same orders as details. We also created much ideal relationship between orders and as a parent and order deals and customers as a child. So this is our master table right here, and these are same table added as the details. So it's pretty easy, right? It's just a basic dashboard, master and details, and this kind of code just gets it going. That's pretty much it. Uh, 
there were a few other CSS tweaks because if you just do this, it's not going to look as sleek as it looks right now. So we need to hide or remove or slightly modify uh, some uh, decoration of uh, dashboard panels. And here is the CSS code right here. So we have hidden some of the elements that we didn't need to. Add some comments. Okay, that's it. And also the button, uh, the color, we change the color of the button because uh, since we removed the uh, background color of the panel, uh, we needed to make our button stand out, the add button. So that's uh, that part is for the button. That's it. And this is for sticky header. I will explain how it works as well. So this kind of splitter can be implemented on any page in PHP Runner. All you need to do is to find an element that has two child elements inside it. And you need to specify the orientation of a grid, uh, of the splitter, which is horizontal. So we can experiment and we can do the same thing with uh, a different dashboard and uh, let's see what happens.